it's Sam. So today I am going to be doing my Urban Decay. Where's my bottle? Ah, where did it go? Anyway, there it is. My Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation Review. This is what the packaging looks like. So it's got that gunmetal. It's kind of sleek. It's pretty cool. It has almost like a spider web looking thing. And what I like about it is that you can see the color of the foundation through the front. So you can see that like when I get all these different colors, they're all kind of like a different um, shade. So altogether there are 24 shades. So that's a pretty good shade range. So they go 0.51, 1.52. So they all go up by 0.5. This is gonna retail for $40, so it's definitely on the pricey side, you know, but it is Urban Decay. This is supposed to be a foundation for a flawless looking complexion that won't quit. So this is, it's called All Nighter for a reason. It's supposed to last all day long. It's supposed to be waterproof, oil absorbing, and it's supposed to provide a complete coverage that lasts all night with a modern matte finish that never looks overdone. Achieve a perfected blown out effect you never thought possible for that skin that looks amazing and stays that way. It's supposed to be comfortable enough to wear every day. It's got an insane, they use the word insane, amount of pigment three times as much as needed, or sorry, as naked skin. So if you like their naked skin liquid foundation, which I actually really like, I think it's a nice summer foundation. Um, this has got three times the amount of pigment, which I completely noticed. As soon as I put it on, I was like, whoa, pigmentation. You don't need much of this. This stuff is intensely pigmented. A little bit goes a long way. Absolutely, I agree. It's got an airless pump, so it's easy to get out every last bit of product. You don't need to build your coverage or apply multiple layers. Absolutely agree, because right, like I did one pump and it was like, whoa. I mean, it covers everything that you need right off the bat. It says you can apply it with your fingers, a sponge, or for your most perfected complexion, use one of their foundation brushes. However, I would say if you use a foundation brush, this is going to be really, really heavy on the skin because it is very pigmented. It is very full coverage. And even using my Beauty Blender, I was like, whoa, this is almost too much coverage for me. And you guys know that I love a full coverage foundation. So keep that in mind when you are applying, whether you use a Beauty Blender or a brush. I used a damp Beauty Blender and that was enough coverage for me. And I do have some issues on my face right now. And it also has light diffusing pigments to blur flaws for perfectly, or sorry, for beautifully perfected skin. So here's what I will say. It's definitely full coverage. Um, it goes, you'll see me applying it. It's like, it, it, it gets rid of the stuff that you need right off the bat. Um, there's a lot of shades, so I feel like you will be able to find your shade. When you first pump it out though, it looks a lot lighter than when you actually let it sit for a minute. So when you are trying out your shades in the store, be sure to pump it and let that sit for like a good one minute or two because it changes colors. It does oxidize. I don't know if it's going to oxidize once it's on my face throughout the day, but right off the bat when you pump it out, it does oxidize. So keep that in mind when you're shopping for your shade because I think that's an important thing to, to note because otherwise you'll be like, oh yeah, this is light and then it gets really dark. Basically, it's supposed to be an all-nighter foundation that lasts all day long that's supposed to help keep that oil at bay because it is oil absorbing and it is uh, a matte finish. I love you. That's all. You're supposed to return stuff, not buy me more. Oh, I can't help myself. I went to, this, <gasps> went to the other store. 15 bucks a piece. 15? Did you get me more than one? Two. That's the exact same. the only ones I had. Oh. Are they, are they the ones? These are the ones. These are my favorite. In case you guys are wondering, you guys know I have large boobs. They're huge. They're saggy. They're terrible. You have to you give them have... at the Victoria's Secret store, though, not the pink Don't store. Don't go into the pink store. This is so random. Sorry, guys. Don't go into the pink store. Go into the Victoria's Secret actual store. These are my favorite sports bras. They have the big wide band at the bottom because it helps keep your boobs upright. And they're nice and tight. And they keep your boobs sucked in so good. Um, my boobs used to be nice. They're not long. They're no longer nice. They're saggy and they're flying all over the place and they're big and I don't like them to look big because it makes me look fatter. So um, these are really amazing because they really do keep your boobies right in place and they're so darn cute and they're on sale for $15 right now. Thank you, babe. So that was lovely. Anyway, um, I will be going throughout the day. I'll be coming and checking in so you guys can see exactly how this foundation wears uh, because it is claiming to be all nighter. It is claiming to be very long wearing. So I would like to see how it wears. Just keep on watching and I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you love these foundation reviews. I'm gonna be doing a bunch more next week or this week, sorry. And I'll see you in my next video. But keep on watching to see me demo it, apply it, whatever, and then check throughout the day. Bye.
So I just wanted to show you the color swatches. Right here we have, what is this one? 1.5, 2.0, 2.5, 4.0, 4 4.5, and 5. I think I'm going to be actually closest to the 5 because I went to the beach. So we're just going to try that and see how that goes. It says that 5 is a medium with a soft warm undertone. 4.5 is a medium light beige with subtle pink undertone. 4.0 is a medium light with soft warm undertone. And then uh, what did I have? 1.5 is fair bisque with subtle pink undertone. 2.0 is fair with soft warm undertone and then 2.5 is fair with subtle pink undertone which you can probably tell pretty easily in those swatches there. So you need to shake this product before you squirt it out. It is a pump top. I'm just going to use one pump to begin with just because I have no idea. It says this is a very high pigmentation. Whoa. It was not lying. It doesn't really smell like anything. Now I'm beginning to think this was a bit too yellow. Maybe I'm just 4.5. Let's just give 4.5 a go. So the coverage of this is insane. Like any little boo-boo that I have, it is just covering up so well. You can see I have a gigantic scab right there. And it's covering it up. Mine is the, the scabby flaky bits. I mean, that's just disgusting, but there's only so much you can do with that. Okay, so for my skin, the 4.5 is actually a lot better. This one is a little bit too yellow. So um, I might just kind of like wipe that side off and just um, start again because it's just a tiny bit too yellow. So keep that in mind. The 5 is very yellow and the 4 looked to me like it was very yellow as well. So you guys can probably see as I'm applying this, the pigmentation is very, very um, pigmented. It's very full coverage. So you've really, like that one squirt goes a really, really long way. And uh, it really does cover like everything that you need to cover. My only concern is that this might be even too much coverage. I'm a worried, a worried, I'm a worried, I'm worried that it's going to start settling into my fine lines and wrinkles. That is what one layer looks like. You can see it is very, very full coverage. It's covered pretty much everything on my face um, for the most part. This is definitely a full coverage foundation for sure. It blended out easily. It seems to have a matte finish. From what I can tell, there's not really much glow going on. Let me see what it says. Yeah, a modern matte, which I agree, it's pretty darn matte. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and then come back and let you know exactly how everything blended out. And we'll see, because I see it's already kind of like saying hello to my wrinkles. Okay, so I did just wanna point out while I'm filming uh, or while I'm putting my concealer on, my forehead wrinkles, hopefully you guys are gonna be able to see this. It is settling into them really bad. Once again, like the last foundation I <laughs> reviewed, it's just like absolutely terrible. And these are, it's settling in and I'm having a difficult time blending out my concealer. Um, it's not blending out quite as easily as it normally does. So that's all I've noticed as far as now. I'll keep you updated in a minute. Okay, so I have put all of my makeup on. I am wearing the new Too Faced um, Nikki Tutorials palette. I have the bronze, or no, not the bronzer, the blush, the highlight, and all of the eyeshadows on, and the Glamour Dust, and I can tell you, it is so gorgeous. I should have filmed the tutorial, but I didn't, but um, if you want me to, I will, but that's really gorgeous. Um, however, let's talk about the foundation. So, when I was applying it, I was like, oh my God, these wrinkles. And you can probably still see this one. It's still showing quite a bit. So as far as wrinkles go, I wouldn't say it's the worst, but I wouldn't say it's the best. They definitely stand out more than my normal foundation routine. However, once I covered it with my NARS powder, um, it kind of went down a little bit, but I would not recommend this if you have quite a bit, quite a good amount of wrinkles. It's really gonna settle into it because it is such high pigmentation that it really does just want to go right into the wrinkles. So wrinkle friendliness is a thumbs down for me. Uh, as far as the coverage goes, it is full coverage, guys. This is like hands down full coverage. It reminds me actually very, very similar to the Marc Jacobs. 
um, which I don't know, it's, I have it somewhere, but it's a very similar consistency. It's just like all almost like pure pigment. So it blended out really well. The only thing I would say was that when I was applying my concealer and my under eye powders, I noticed it wasn't looking like it normally did. So, um, it was just a little bit harder to blend out. I felt like it was almost disrupting the foundation underneath. Um, but now that I have everything on, everything looks fine and blended. However, I do notice my pores a lot more than usual. So this is something that if you have wrinkles or if you have pores, any kind of skin texture, I do feel like it is going to enhance it more than like my normal foundation. So just keep that in mind because like all around here, all around here, all around my chin, like I do notice more texture than I normally do. So water bomb off. Um, other than that though, like from far away, like when I look at myself, I look really, really like flawless. It does look really, really beautiful. It's covered everything that I need to cover. It's just when I get up close that I just see like, I know that my pores look bigger than what they normally do. So right now it is 2.45 PS. <sighs> my birthday present phone case. It's a unicorn. I'm pretty much obsessed. Um, so yes. It's 2.45, I'll come back, I'll check out, check out throughout the day and see how it holds up. Um, but as far as like, as far as right now, I'm gonna give it like a, <clears throat> for me it's like a six. It's full coverage, it looks really nice. It's just that when, <clears throat> when I get up close, I can see my wrinkle and I can see my pores. But I don't think it would be noticeable to someone who isn't fully aware of what my wrinkles and pores looks like all the time. So I think, like just going out, like I'd be happy to go out like this. I know that it would be pretty and I wouldn't mind at all. Um, so yes, we'll just have to see. Cause at first when I was applying my white powder, I was like, oh my gosh, this is not looking good underneath my eyes. But then it all kind of pulled together at the end. So, so far I'm kind of like, I don't know. I don't know what to think. Cause it looks good. I look flawless, but my freaking wrinkles. But so far I'm gonna give it a kind of like, it's kind of like on the verge of up, but it's kind of like this, if you know what I mean. Okay guys, so it is 4.47. Uh, so my makeup has been on now for, what, what time did I put it on? Has it been two hours? I can't remember now. I will say the wrinkle is gone. Like it was kind of sticking out there in the beginning when I first put it on, but it's not anymore. Um, it looks really beautiful. It's actually looking better as I'm wearing it. So like when I first put it on, I was like, oh, okay. Like my wrinkles are showing just a little bit more. Um, it was looking a little heavy, but now that I have some of my natural like oils coming through, it's not that it looks greasy, but it has a bit of a kind of more skin-like finish to it. And it looks really beautiful. Um, so we'll just keep on checking back throughout the day. But as of like a couple hours in, I'm really liking it. I like it a lot more now than when I first applied it. So let's look up close. See, nothing has moved. The wrinkle is looking fuller. So yes, so far, so good. Okay guys, it is now nine. Oh, it's not gonna show. 9.38, there we go, 9.38. So it's been on for a total of probably about seven hours. So I have noticed this little fellow started poking up uh, and this one, I don't know if that was there earlier this morning, but it's definitely looking a little bit more and this one. So could be a quinky dink, could be the foundation, I don't know. Wrinkles are still looking good. This one is a little bit settled. I've noticed there's a little tiny bit of like collection over here, but it's not bad. Um, as far as the oil control, I mean, I'm a little glowy, but I wouldn't say I'm like super duper greasy. My forehead is definitely a little bit oily, but it's not terrible. Um, I would probably just keep on going like this. Uh, it still looks exactly as it did when I applied it. As far as the coverage, it hasn't worn off anywhere. It does photograph really nicely. I will include a picture right here of me taking a picture in dark light with flash. So I do think this would be a great f uh, foundation for events, for pictures, if you're getting married, that kind of thing, because it does last really well and it does photograph really, really nicely on the skin. Um, and like I said, it does look better as the day goes. So like these wrinkles that were like kind of like showing at first is still looking really nice. Um, 
so yeah and like the collection like normally i have really bad like it'll break apart really bad around my chin and it really hasn't i mean it's t just a tiny little bit but nothing more than like a normal foundation would do so i'm actually really happy with it i think the coverage is great minus the whole little zits popping up that could be the foundation it could just be I don't know. I think it's a foundation. It still looks good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more work on the computer. I'll check back in right before the end of the night. But so far, I was like, eh, and now I'm like this. Like, I actually really like this foundation. I'm very impressed. I was a little skeptical, skeptical at first because I felt like it was going to be settling in as the day went. I thought it was going to be too heavy looking and it really does look beautiful on the skin. The only thing that I will say is that it does oxidize just a little bit. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's just a tiny little bit. It almost gets like yellower as the day goes on, if that makes sense. Like it oxidizes, but I don't know if my, my face is necessarily darker. I mean, it, it is. My face is definitely a little bit darker, but it does kind of oxidize into a yellower tone, or at least the color that I use. So that's the only thing that I would say I don't like about it is that it hasn't stayed the exact color all day long. Um, it's changed just a little bit. Overall, I mean, I'm really liking it. I would definitely use this again. Um, and I would definitely recommend it, especially if you do have oily skin. And if you are looking for something that lasts all day long, that, um, doesn't kind of break apart or collect or go weird. It really does do a good job. It is now 1.15. Can you guys, oh, come on. 1.15. This, it still looks the same. I do feel two zits coming up. I'm pretty sure it's the foundation, guys, because I've been on a no makeup kick and like nothing was actually breaking me out. Like I felt like everything was drying up. And then today, well, that one was there this morning, but this is new. It's kind of collected just a little bit here, kind of around here. My wrinkle still looks good on my forehead, and it's still in the exact same place it was before. I just have a tiny little bit of collection, and I feel like it's oxidized just a little bit more. As you can see it's getting a little bit more like yellow um, compared to my body, so... That's the only downside. I'm definitely a little oily, so it's not gonna be like a super duper crazy oil control, but it definitely did a pretty good job. I thought it was gonna be greasier than it was. Um, when I touch it, let's see, does it transfer? Yes. I mean, mm, it doesn't transfer terribly, actually. It's just more with the grease wiping off. Yeah, there's actually no foundation there. It's just straight up grease. So I actually think you could probably like bought this and you'd probably be fine. I actually really like this foundation. I think it lasted really well. It held up. Um, it did what it said it was going to do. And other than the oxidization, I mean, it's not terrible. In real life, you don't really notice it. It's just in the camera, it picks up a little bit more yellow than it is in real life. Um, but I am actually impressed. I thought I was going to be disappointed with this foundation and I actually do really like it. So other than my zits, I mean, I don't know if that's just a coincidence. So hard to tell. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did find this helpful. So what has this been on for? Almost 12 hours, so like 11 hours altogether. Um, and it still looks pretty good. So thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.